Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a long exposure effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have these two clips that I think are perfect for this effect because the camera in this shot is stationary. And if you want to create this long exposure effect, make sure that your camera is stationary. If you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, then you can go to the open effects and search for motion trails. And you can just simply drag and drop it. And then you can just simply change the trail length to something like 50 and you will get this long exposure effect. Um, same goes for this clip as well. Just drag and drop motion trail and set this to 50 and you are good to go. But if you are using the free version of Resolve, then uh, what you can do is you can just take your clip to the Fusion page and just simply after your media in one, add in this node called frame average uh, click on add and then you just set the frames to um, something like maybe 20 or 30 the higher the number the more time it will take you to render out the clip uh, but as you can see we have this really nice result and uh, we have this long exposure effect so if you go to the very first frame which is frame zero you can see that the lights are visible they're clear and that's because our sample direction by default is set to backward if it's set to forward then at the very first frame you will have the video uh, started with these um, trails already and if you go to the last frame then there will be um, no trails or there will be very less trails if you now go to the very first frame again and set this to both then it is going to take the average and it's gonna have this trail effect or the long exposure effect uh, at the beginning and at the end as well so it's gonna average it out and uh, it will leave you with this effect um, so let's go to the second clip over here and uh, apply the same effect to this i have already done it as you can see we have this frame average node i'm going to turn that on and you can see how we create this long exposure effect uh, set this to 20 but of course you can increase it to 30 or 40 uh, and then again we have the same thing over here sample direction is set to backward that's why you are able to see it see the water clearly over here without any long exposure but if i set this to forward uh, you will see the very first frame will also have this long exposure and then if you set this to both it will kind of average it out but that is basically it that's just um a quick tip for you guys if you want to create this long exposure effect inside of the free version of Twinch Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.